What's up, YouTube? What's cool? What's good? What's happening? It's time for life. I feel like I haven't done my intro in so, so, so long. Anyway, we're going to get right on into it. So I actually shot this video a while back, but I didn't post it. I let it simmer a little bit. I let it just chill for a little bit. And it was, yeah, literally, as the title is saying, down there. Yes, I'm not telling any lies. People were having parties to try and catch corona. Okay, they were, they, that was the purpose of these parties, okay? They were coro parties. But now, I let it simmer, and whilst this video was simmering, these influencers were also wilding out, going out crazy, and also having coro parties, not to try and get coro, but they think they're invincible. We're just gonna look at a compilation of three of my, some of my favorite YouTubers, Amanda, It's Keisha, and Def Noodles here on YouTube. I love highlighting people. And I'll be doing way more of that on my channel. People on this platform that are actually doing good. People on this platform that are actually have their wits about, about them. They're smart. They're educating people. They're not standing behind anybody that's doing nonsensical things. They don't want to be in any good graces of people that don't deserve their time or anything like that. They're not just following people around. They're doing their own thing. They're telling you like it is. So I have a compilation here of what they thought about these influencer parties and then afterwards you'll see my video as well with my thoughts about these coro parties that are meant for people to go and catch coro i don't know man 2020 is a trip 2020 is crazy i don't know what's going on so anyway we're gonna start off with this girl she's also a youtuber called nikita dragon and she did a surprise party for somebody and we're just gonna dive into uh, the mess the foolery Tonight is a very special night. It is the night before Luray, my best friend's birthday. And he's the type that does not like to celebrate his birthday, do a big birthday party or anything. So this year I decided to throw him a crazy surprise party. So she planned this party and was posting behind the scenes of her planning the party. So she was letting the girls know, we are going to be making Corona stew in two hours. Here at the hottest party in town right now. Hey, we're in the middle of a pandemic. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for these influencers to prove to everyone in the world how little they care for them. Like, that's who becomes famous. Terrible people. My issue here is the term influencer. Think about it. All these people that you classify as influencers, what have they actually influenced you to do apart from pick up a phone and they should do body rolls with well. your three pack? People decided to come after Nikita and the iPads for throwing these parties, and Nikita responded like this. Their perception of you is not who you are. Do I have to say it again because you didn't hear it the first time? Their perception of you is not who you are. James Charles has masks as part of his sister collection. He's been profiting off of it because obviously the pandemic, we want masks, we want masks. How come James Charles wasn't wearing a mask? Not only that, how come James Charles, a day after being seen at one of these parties, was just out here on the ground flexing like, ooh, just, these people are not even addressing anything. It's disgusting, especially because their followers are so young. They are so young. They're going to be making Koro stews out there and they don't have access to tests. They don't have access to all the things these people have access to, good healthcare. And you know healthcare is expensive in America. This is so selfish and you wouldn't think it, but yes, these people, their demographic, the people that they cater to, whether they like it or not, they're all like around the ages of 12, 14, like they're teenagers. It's disgusting and it's not a good example as all, at all. And yes, I do not know who they're influencing. It ain't me. <laughs> it ain't me. And it shouldn't be you either. Trust and believe this fast life that they're living, thinking that nothing will catch up to them in life. It's not like that, man. And this Koro don't discriminate, okay? It doesn't know how much money you got in the bank. Koro is out here living its best life too, mutating and stuff, you know? So, y'all need to be careful. But we're young, so we'll be fine. So I don't know who told you that. I really don't know who told you that. Um, Let's say y'all read that somewhere. Y'all want these, you want a virus. You want a virus? You want a virus? You want a virus with long-term effects. You want to be sick? I don't. That's why I'm inside. If you want to take it from a selfish point of view, why do you want to be sick? Why do you want to be sick? They want to be sick because just like this dog you're gonna see in this video, they're just following the leader. Somebody calls them up, hey, I'm gonna have this coro stew party, you wanna come? Mm, if I say no, then... Mm. 
everybody's going and mm, fear of missing out mm, FOMO mm, I don't want to miss out mm, I don't want to be behind I'm just gonna do what everybody's doing you will end up like this dog right here Okay, I'm trying to hide my crankiness because this is the second time I'm filming this because Google Pixel is playing around. What's cool? What's great? What's happening? It's time for life. So basically what I was talking about is I'm at the park as you can see. On my way up here, there was somebody in their house. They were playing old house music. Boom, boom, boom. I was boogie into it. Bam, bam, bam. Then there was somebody that came who passed me by with a car. Skirt was also playing house music. I was bopping, I was enjoying myself. And I was like, yes, wherever you are, whether you're in your house, whether you're in your bathroom, whether you're in your kitchen, whether you're in your toilet, whether you're in your bed, whether you're in your car, whether you're outside, wherever you are, you can make a party. You can enjoy yourself. You can have an amazing time. Why am I saying this? It has been brought to my attention that people are out here trying to catch coral. Yes, I said it. People are out here purposefully trying to catch coral. People are able to go on holidays, right? Some of these borders have been open and people are going on holidays. I don't know what's wrong with going on holiday in your own country, but people don't want to do it. People want to go out there and smell the roses. Grass is always greener on the other side. So people are out there, right? They're out there and the pubs, the clubs, the bars, the restaurants, they have started opening. So people are excited. They've been excited because for months for all these things to open because they feel like they've been prisoners in their houses for months. So people are excited. People had already booked their flights and their trips. Um, they're going. People are like, oh, the borders are open. Let me go and get me a ticket. They're going. People are excited. Now, these owners of these restaurants, pubs, clubs, and bars, and restaurants, have I said already? I don't know. They have also been excited because they've been waiting. They need to make money. These people have houses. They have wives. They have children. They have, uh, what do you call it? Wives? Husbands? Anyway, they have families. Okay? So they need money. Mm -hmm. And they've been itching to just work. You know, if you're somebody who is in your prime age and, and you need to get that walk, you are ready to work. So that's what they've been itching for and it's finally here. Tell me why these people that, these holiday makers are ruining it for these business owners. Absolutely and totally ruining it for these business owners. Going to all these places and not following the guidelines of one and a half meters. Like you can see them outside of the clubs and that. They don't want to leave. And I know, especially in Europe, that clubs open up to like five o'clock. Some of them have a rule that they close whenever you leave. So whenever you get tired, okay? I've been in a club before up until 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. So you go around 10 a.m leave at seven dancing 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 oh another tune oh ah, we're going no mm -mm -mm. another tune hey so that's what i was up to in my early days okay so i know how these things work tell me why after such a late hour you guys still want to just hang around especially knowing now that these clubs are going to be open the all the the, the coro things have been you know lessened and people are allowed to go out all these things are open again and they're just like as long as you guys stick to the one and a half meter as long as you guys stick to the guidelines we're gonna be okay just do it just do it because now what these people have done is they've made it so that it's gonna become very likely that all these things are gonna close up again and that's your doing but tell me why there are these bets going on on uh who's gonna get coro first People are betting on who's going to get Koro first, you guys. That is that is what is happening right now. In fact, I hear people sometimes saying, um, who are going to be the leaders of the next generation? Who are going to be the leaders of the nations if the youths are acting up the way they are? Um, that is a very good question. I have no doubt in my mind that things are going to be okay, hopefully. But yeah, um, this is the thing. I think that some of these people are going through a weird phase. People have been quarantined for a long time. And people that were already silly are now extra silly. And they've been able to find their silly uh, buddies. And they are uniting to make silly bold statements out there people have been in the house in prison for so long that they are sick and tired of being quarantined they're sick and tired of isolation and people need people that's a natural thing but what i want to tell you guys is that learn to love yourself learn to love being around yourself learn to love hanging around with yourself because if you don't who is going to i don't know if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bump stomp as on the subscribe button comment because i want to know what you think like because you obviously liked this video and learned a lot also it's free 99 and whilst you're at it hit the notification bell so you get notified for the next one which will be very soon but learn to love yourself learn to be with yourself and have fun like this guy in the car blasting his music like these people in the house blasting their rave house music you can do that too i don't say forever koro is going to be with us for a while don't get me wrong and we are all itching to do normal things but 
Even if you did not believe in Koro, just follow the guidelines because it keeps the government happy. Even if that is your stance, just do that because it allows all these pop art clubs and, uh, well, pops. Blah. Anyway, the four. It allows them to be open longer. But if you don't, and people start seeing, even if Koro was a total nonsensical thing, right? And you think that all this mixing around has doesn't do any harm. I would like to inform you that just just you try just you do what they're saying so that all these things can remain open because lockdown is just a few stupid parties away it really is when the government sees these things go down things will be shut down quickly you are hurting the business owner you're hurting yourself because now you can't do it anymore legally and these fines are not pretty people are not working the economy is crashed has crashed things are going to become very expensive but keep an eye out, out on that find about three items when you go to the supermarket next time you go write down how much it costs and come back to me in a year and see how much they cost like things are gonna inflate like nobody's business because that money is gonna have to come from somewhere and everybody's taking a hit so you guys are you are you're ruining somebody's business you're ruining your chance of having the little bit of fun that was granted to us again after such a long time and it's silly okay i'm gonna wrap this up because i'm gonna say things that you've already heard and everybody already knows but here's the thing they are hurting themselves as much as they're hurting these business owners and if anything else Please think about these healthcare professionals. I can't stress that enough. It is no fun, absolutely no fun to be living in an environment that you know that is so dangerous, so toxic, but it's not even like, I don't know, like certain other dangerous jobs that you can think about. It's not like other dangerous jobs that you can think about and it's like, oh, maybe it's only detrimental to you. Maybe it can only hurt you. No, you know that you can actually get this coro, come back home and infect your loved ones. That is the saddest thing about this disease. And if you do look at the news and stop hiding from it, you guys that are, you know, going crazy on these beach parties and pool parties and trying to get the coro, if you stop and look at the news, you'll realize that this is not a joke. This is still happening. It's real. I remember when they said there were 1 million cases worldwide. It was breaking news. And then today I saw that it's like 12 million. That's a lot of people. That's some countries. That's like, some countries is like twice the country. That's a lot of people. Do you know 12 million people? A no? Okay. That's a lot of people. You know, loads are recovering as well. Like 6 million or so have recovered, which is great. But yeah, it's not to scare. It's not to fear monger. That's funny, but we need to be just, we need to have a bit of sense about us, you know? Because this, this is ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just came over here to let y'all know that some people are out here betting. So when you go out there, just if you want to be sensible, stay the heck away from people as much as you can because people are out here and they, re they just really don't care. They are actively trying to get this thing. To me, this is like another version of suicide, like trying to get ill, trying to get a deadly illness. I mean, what you call that? We need to also watch people's mental health because I don't think it's going very well with people. And that's why they're acting so strangely. They've been inside for way too long and now they're acting crazy. Anyway, make time. For glorious life, it's time to start what? Living it right. God bless.